Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing great. We have a new update for Launcher 12 and it's Launcher 12 Alpha 5 and there have been some interesting changes overall. Some new features have been added and some issues have been resolved as well. In this video, I'll take you through all the changes that have been made in this latest version of Launcher and I'll also show you how you can start using these features in your Android device. So let's get the video started. Starting with the first important change that has been made, it is an option to change the status bar icons to dark color. To access these settings, you can simply head over to Launcher Settings, then Home Screen Settings and enable Dark Status Bar. And as you can see, the status bar icons change to dark color. Yes, it is a simple but a very important feature if you love customizing your Android device. And if you are using a dark theme in your Android device, it will be a perfect match. The second important feature that has been added is related to Quick Switch. I have not tried it myself as it works with rooted devices. Quick Switch is an application, basically a Magisk module, which lets you customize the reset app screen in third-party launchers. Well, if you guys have Quick Switch in your device, you have an option to customize the buttons in recent app screen. Let me know if you guys are going to try this feature. The third important feature that has been added is the experimental features. You can access these features by going to launcher settings and you can tap on this three dot menu on the top. And here you have this experimental feature option. The first one is the font customization, which was available in the previous version of the launcher as well, but it has been added to the separate experimental feature now. And please note that if you are changing the font in launcher settings, it might not work properly and some fonts might remain unchanged. The second experimental feature is the one I was waiting for a very long time and this is one of my favorite features. This is known as per app icon customization where you can change the application icons individually. I'm really glad that it has been added here. After you enable this feature, you can go back to main home screen or the application drawer. Long press on any application and there you have an option to choose an icon from your installed icon packs. You can search for any icon within the icon pack itself and apply it to a particular application. This was a much needed feature and finally has been added here. Apart from all these features, the developers have also released lawn icons which act as an add-on for themed icons. Actually it will be installed as a separate application or an icon pack to be more precise. In the previous version of Launcher, some themed icons were present but now this has been released as a separate application which contains more themed icons. You can simply download and install on icons, then head over to Launcher Settings and go to General Settings. You can see this themed icon feature and if you enable this, you will have themed icons on your home screen. And please note that it does not support all the applications but most of the system applications and some of the popular applications will be themed. You can change the shape of these icons to circle, rounded square or spherical. So these were all the new features that have been added and taking a look at the issues resolved. There were some fixes in the language section and an issue where launcher could crash while rotating the device. And an issue with the device search. So that's all for today's video and I hope this video was helpful for you. I will leave the links for launcher as well as launch icons in the video description, you can check them out. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications so that you get notified whenever I post any video. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you soon in my next video.